When building computer-generated models for games, film, or broadcast, characters... working in many areas of the animation industry. These include episodic TV series, commercials, games and animated feature film. I also have over two years of experience teaching at one of the UK's top universities. I specialise in 3D modelling and digital sculpture, but I'm also a highly skilled generalist with production experience in almost every aspect of 3D content creation. In this workshop we're going to be looking at creating a character, an environment and a selection of props using non-organic modelling techniques using Maya. Many of these techniques can be applied to later versions of Maya, as well as other modeling packages. We will start by creating a set of reusable assets to speed up our workflow later on. We will then create the specific parts of our robot character and the props that go along with it. We will then move on to creating the environment and the set resin, as well as then looking at the camera and shader setup before concluding with the final composite of the image inside the stream. I have worked on several feature films doing creature and character work on films such as Underworld 4 Awakening, uh, X-Men First Class, and Fright Night. Uh, in this tutorial we'll be covering how to create a realistic human. Um, I'll be touching uh, bases on how to create skin textures, uh, how to composite the scenes, how to shade and light those scenes. Also uh, we'll be talking about how to uh, develop realistic hair and uh, just my philosophies and techniques um, on character modeling and character art in general. So sit back, relax, buckle up, because you're in for a ride. A little bit more about some of the techniques that we're going to be using. Here we have an animation done on our final rig that we'll be constructing. Okay, so we're going to go over a lot of really cool things. For one, starting from the top, we're going to be making our custom shelf and adding some commonly used tools to it to quickly access them. And we'll be making uh, certain things like our broken hierarchy system. If we were to stop the animation and select this center control object, moving it around, notice how the uh, control object in front of it can move independently from it. But if we were to, with this object selected, go to our lock attribute and turn it back on, now the center object controls this front object entirely. So that's going to be one of the cool things that we're going to be working on. Um, as well as main, maintaining the right deformations throughout our rig. Going to go over a lot of uh, painting weight techniques and even ways to uh, hold muscle definition so it doesn't get lost. And we'll even go over some character sets towards the end to make animating that much more efficient. So, with that being said, polished animation successfully can be quite challenging. The goal of this course is to provide you with tips and workflows that will help you maintain control over your character's performance with time-saving techniques. We'll start with a very basic blocking pass already established and work our way to a final animation, learning everything from smart blocking and pose solidification techniques to learning how one can transition to their polishing pass in a very clean and manageable way. We'll also learn fast and effective ways to correct timing, silhouettes, and arcs in Maya. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be equipped with the skill set you need to animate strategically.
to break down the complexities of a bird's movement so that we can confidently animate these types of creatures with time-saving techniques. Throughout this course, we'll focus on dissecting various actions of a bird, actions that range from walking and hopping to flying and landing. We'll learn techniques for animating everything from its wings and torso to its legs and tail. We'll also focus on ways to create a sense of personality in birds to enhance realism. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be equipped with the understanding you need to animate the concept of burning house and the story, the science behind it. In this course, you will learn about 3D fluids, fire and smoke. Being complex in nature, their behavior depends on different factors. Therefore, we'll first understand the science behind these fluids. We will learn about their attributes and behavior under different conditions like presence of moisture, combustion of different types of fuels, environments, etc. How they help in assessing the source of fire. Having these insights will advance to different techniques to create realistic fire and smoke and how to blend them together. So at the end of this course, you will feel confident for the past three years. And in this series of lessons, we're going to be using Maya to create this really intense and fun fight scene between the superhero character and two horribly evil robot guards. Now, fight scenes are complex, but the point of this course really is to find a nice, fun way to plan out complex motions without actually getting bogged down by it. We're going to be using some primitives just to block out the basic timing of the scene, and then we can go from there with a straight-ahead animation technique that gives us flexibility and allows us to kind of come up with things on the fly. Along the way, we'll be using uh, blend shapes and other deformers to really make the damage our hero inflicts look real and in keeping with the scene. We'll also be using some dynamics to actually make the scene at the very end have that little added bit of pizzazz that makes this combat scene really shine. So we have a whole 